All right, what's going on everyone? YouTube, NES Roller. Welcome to another review here. Um, usually the way I'm going to do it now, I'm going to be doing uh, one rating review and one video review. Uh, my last review, I did a review of the pack 2. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to read that and my thoughts on the sequel to the pack, which is a really, really good um, supernatural um, slasher type film. So, what I'm going to talk about today is a newly released film by Wild Eye and um, it's called All American Bully or known as The Innocents. Um, this film was released in 2011 but it didn't get picked up for distribution um, until now in 2015 so um, you know horror films have always been um, films that always address social issues in some way or another um, you know that's pretty much what they're known for um, so throughout time we always see all these different films um, addressing um, things that are going wrong in society at the time and it's definitely important now because um, we see bullying such a huge topic in society right now um, especially over the last like 10 years or so that it's been really discussed you know it's always been there and things like that but um, I think it's been brought into the spotlight in American culture and um, you know pretty much around the world but especially in American culture of the past 10 years or so. So, you know, there's there's movies about horror films about bullying and things like people getting bullied and stuff like that, but there's not really anything that I can remember that's dedicated directly to, um, directly connected to bullying, um, you know, a complete horror film directly connected to that. Now, this film isn't really a horror film, I would say. You know, there's some horror stuff going on in it, and there's some pretty um, messed up things going on, but... I wouldn't really say it's a horror film. It's more of a drama, horror, mashup type of a film. But, um, so I'll tell you a little about the movie. The movie follows three kids. They're obviously, um, they're nerds. They like video games. Uh, two guys and a girl. And they, um, they really enjoy playing video games and stuff like that. And there's these two guys who are complete assholes to these three kids. And they just relentlessly bully them, um, relentlessly you know, throughout the entire film. And one day they decide to pretty much steal one of these kids' books that he has for one of the, one of these games that he enjoys. And it's really an expensive book that he saves up for all summer. And he this bully takes it and the kid goes back to get the book from the bully after school and he gets the shit beaten out of him and he is um videotaped saying I'm a faggot on on camera and of course they get uploaded to the internet and things spread and um, he starts to get bullied even more and then we start to find out um, you know some secrets about this bully who was um, you know who beat the shit out of him and things like that and um, their relationship the kid and the bully and things like that it's interesting I have to say you know I think the characters are are likable, the three kids, I think they're extremely likable, and I think that's an extremely important thing in this film, that you have the kids who you feel bad for being somewhat likable characters, because if they fall flat, I think the film wouldn't work at all. And to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. I think um, there was some pretty inappropriate uses of music at some points in the film. I wish they would have um, tried to choose better choices of, of music in some sequences. Or try to find different music to use in some scenes. I I found that um, some of the placements of where the music was in some of the scenes were pretty inappropriate for what they were trying to get across, and I think it was really jarring and um, didn't really contribute anything to the scenes. Um, that was one of the main things that I I found when I was watching the film that I thought that that there shouldn't be music here. I think you should just let the characters do the talking and. I know, you know, music is usually good in some aspects or another, but I, just, I don't think it really worked in the scenes that they decided to use it in, and I wish they would have just let the actors um, do the talking for the music, which is unfortunate. Um, I think it, it, it kind of took me out of the film a little bit. And um, another another issue I have with the movie is that um, I feel like there's some storylines that are, aren't really wrapped up at the end of the film. They're just there and they're hanging um, of course, this film has Adriana King, um, Adrian King, who is from the uh, uh, Friday the Thirteenth films, and um, you know I've met her like three years ago. She's probably one of the nicest people I've met at any convention. 
um, that I've been to. She's just, she's such a sweetheart, and you know she hasn't done many films, and you know since Friday the Thirteenth, you know she's done some, but she really hasn't done any. So um, that was the main reason why I wanted to check this one out because I was just curious to see um, where she was going to go in this film and what her character entailed. And um, there's a story in it with her and her son who's gay and he drops out of school and it just really never goes anywhere and it never gets a, I don't know why it's in the film to be completely honest you know I see where it was trying to go sort of with this whole bullying and being gay and leaving school because he's gay and things like that but I, I just don't see where it was going with her character because she's this principal and she's trying to protect the kids because she feels like she failed her son because he's gay and dropped out I guess which doesn't make any sense because what is she just a bully herself that she doesn't accept her son being gay but um so you know I just feel like that storyline between her and her son really didn't go anywhere and I feel like it really didn't need to be in the movie or could have been rewritten in a different way that it actually meant something to the narrative I just feel like it was just not really important and didn't really mean anything. So, um, this movie, it's its okay to be completely honest. I think it's average. It's not the best film I've seen. It's not the worst film I've seen. It's completely average. Um, you could tell that it was, you know, a, a low-budget film. And um, I, I appreciate that they were trying to commentate on, on bullying and the problems that are going on in America with kids getting bullied and how they feel and things like that and try to... Um, interpreted in a horror type style. There's a huge tonal shift at the end of the film, which is totally jarring. I mean, it's not bad or anything like that, but um, there's a, it goes from just, you know, a, drama, a dark drama to some pretty fucked up things start to happen at the end of the film. And um, it's, it's an interesting conclusion to the film, the ending. Um, I could see where, where it was going and things like that, so... Um, I have to give them credit that they were trying to do something original and something interesting with a a topic that's that's talked about a lot. So if you guys get a chance, if you guys find it for you know a cheap price or something like that, check it out. I think it's worth a watch at least once. Um, I don't really see anybody watching more than once to be completely honest. But I think it has some interesting things going on if you could get past the points of the jarring music and you know the the storylines. Some storylines not really going anywhere then I think you might find some enjoyment out of it. So pick it up if you get a chance. Um, you know, it's okay. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reviews. Like I said, I'm not the best at doing video reviews. You know, I'm more comfortable doing written stuff. But I feel like if I keep doing all these written reviews that, um, you know, I, I all I do is, on here is post updates and things like that. Just updates. I don't really feel like um, updates is suitable. I wish I would post more content, but there's not really much else I like to do besides updates and I feel like having doing these reviews I feel like it gives my channel a little bit more substance even though I'm not the best at talking and things like that I think it it helps my channel by having some other stuff besides updates on there and then whenever I do written reviews you know that's where you see my confidence rise a little bit because I could think um, think long and hard about what I'm writing and things like that so if you guys want to read my last review that I did on the pack too, I'll put the link down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash nesroller22. And I'll talk to you guys soon with a, another review or an update. I haven't decided what my next video is going to be. Maybe I'll go back to my shelf videos. I still have those. I know some people were asking about them. And, um, you know, I still have them on my car just waiting. I just haven't had any time to edit them or, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So thanks again, everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys.